Hello, my friends. Sabrina Barella here with Your Freedom Track. Welcome to episode number 10 of Ask the Founder. So as you can see, I am out on location today. I am at the Del Mar Beach in Southern California, and I just had the most awesome day with a bunch of friends here, um, big beach bash. And now that everybody's cleaned up and gone, I took out my, uh, my supplies and my equipment, and I decided I'd shoot a few videos from here rather than getting on the road and braving rush hour traffic. So. Today's question comes from Dave, and Dave says, Sabrina, I really need the money and want to do this business, but I'm also not a people person. Could this still be a fit for me? Dave, thank you so much for the question. I This isn't the first one that I've gotten to this extent, and these, I guess the short answer would be no, you don't necessarily have to be a people person. Uh, there are different levels of the business and it really depends on you how much you want to, to grow and stretch yourself um, personally and that will be tied to uh, how much your business can grow. Um, gosh, as far as being a people person, um, there are different levels that you can hit in business and if you're just looking to you know come in uh, work from home be on the computer do the technical side so you can place ads you can write articles you can you know, leverage the system um, of the 21 step system which um, I talk about a lot it's the same one that I went through in order to start my business and you can do a lot of that and make high ticket commissions without needing to interact with people necessarily um, you can do a lot of it by by email and on social media so you don't necessarily have to interact with people one thing I would look at however is there's gonna you're gonna reach a level where you could have a greater impact um, and a greater impact means your business is gonna be larger and you're working with more people obviously also means a higher income level you are going to need to interact with people at some point. Um, I know one of my goals will be as time goes on to to go to the live events, you know, as many of the live events as possible, especially where my clients are there because I want them to know that I have their back and I'm here to help them. And I, um, and just the networking, the networking with other people is huge. So, you know, a few things for you to just chew on. Um, one thing that I would say to you, I was having this conversation earlier with one of my friends about how as people we are limited by the boxes that we put ourselves in. And it looks like I was dancing, right? Um, <laughs> but we're limited by these boundaries and they're artificial boundaries, they're artificial walls. And I might take a look at uh, when you, you're perception of yourself not being a people person, is there something else to that? Um, is there something that you could start growing and stretching yourself to start talking to people? Maybe it could even be just saying hello to people when you're out in the bout or at the grocery store um, and just, just take a little itty bitty uh, steps here and there to start interacting with people more and see that you won't die doing it. <laughs> so just some things to chew on. but. Short answer, like I say, no, you don't have to be a people person. You really don't. You could do it all from behind a computer and you can make money. Um, up to you. Totally up to you. So thank you so much for sending the question in, Dave. Um, and for those of you who are watching, if you have a burning question that you would like answered, please go to my website, www dot your freedom track dot com and just shoot me a message say question for the founder and shoot me your questions so I can shoot a video just like this for you later on so thank you so much my friends it's been lovely talking to you today I'm Sabrina Barella and I'm here to help